Welcome back, everybody. Let's play some Dark Siders. Yeah, just got enough souls. Just got enough to talk to Volgrim. Volgrim, my little shopkeeper. Watch buying. Watch you selling. Oh, not that Selkie. Not not that storekeeper or merchant. Yeah, that's that's what his name was. I think his name is Merchant because <laughs> I don't think he actually has a name in uh, Resident Evil. These ancient gates have a mind of Resident them, Evil 4. But with this, you may reach an understanding. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison. Once, Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say a threat. Oh. You will find he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while. It's actually really smart for them to use. Farewell. It's actually really smart for them to use uh, souls as currency because going right into like dead, uh, not dead souls, <laughs> um, uh, dark siders too. It makes sense for souls to be currency because, well, you're playing as death. So that is like the perfect currency for, uh, for, uh, what's his name? Death. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of farming in this episode. I'll, I'll probably get in that building before it ends. But there's a couple more chests that I actually want to get before I uh, progress. So there's only like maybe, let's see, three chests? Because there's a couple things I want to get before I go out and uh, an adventure. Might as well get the one over here. There's one right. Uh-oh. Hey, new enemy type. I forgot what those guys are called. Oh, they don't tell me what those guys are called. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used block blocking in this game. Oh! Oh, I love that one. That's probably my favorite finisher. Is that, um, he'll cut off the legs, they'd like fly up in the air. And then I just cut him in half again. So I, cut, I practically cut him into two thirds. This is awesome. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Aw, oh, look at you. You are tired. See? Some more freaking. Eat more fruit and vegetables. God. actually was like fantastic you know for breakfast stuff is eating anything with like red meat um i recommend eating pork chops for breakfast surprisingly that is a fantastic way to wake up it's like hell yeah and it's cheap pork chops are necessarily not that expensive oh no you gotta take out big guy first Oh crap, move! I hate it when I'm in midair and I can't move. There you go, finish him up. Booyah! You're gonna die! You're gonna die tonight! And you can't do nothing about it! Da 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 die to die! Punch you, punch, slap! And stab. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, no, no. Squish your head like a tomato. All right. And actually, this is a really good way for me to build up my weapon because if I look here, and yes, you have to go through all the mapping gear and all that stuff. And actually, did I map this? 
Oh, I didn't. Ooh, bad me. All right, got to get that. And I think these is, yeah, this is the only gear I have right now. Um, oh, wait, I was going to show you guys. If you haven't played Darksiders, yeah, there's a little, little bar, right? If you see that half circle, um, when you get that all the way through, you'll get a little mark on top. Which is, if you see those inscriptions, those are levels for your weapon. And if you level it up all the way, it's pretty much badass. As badass as it can get. It doesn't, like, transform or anything like that. I think... Well, I don't know. I don't think that... It, I don't think cosmetically it changes too much. Um, as it levels up, though, there's more uh, effects going on. Uh, I noticed that with Chaos Eater, anyway, it kind of lights up. And there's, like, more going on with the sword itself. Like, um, I think as you level up each skull, if you see the skulls in there, their li eyes light up. So I think every time you level up, those eyes kind of appear and they just become more awesome and all that stuff. But, yeah, the more enemies you kill, the more you farm and all that, the better your weapons become, easier the enemies, you know, to kill. So they're easier to kill and all that. So Because you get more damage and... That's pretty much all you really need. Because <laughs> blocking abilities and all that doesn't really matter. For, that's for me, anyway. If you can get at least everything to level 3, you're in the safe zone. But always have a weapon that is fully maxed. And most likely, the weapon that will probably be fully maxed for most people or is either the uh, Scythe. Or the Chaos Eater. Mainly Chaos Eater because that's practically your main weapon. You can use the Scythe as a main weapon though. I've did it. I've actually used the Scythe more than anything when I did my first apocalyptic uh, run through. So uh, that's why I kind of suggest is actually um, upgrading the Scythe and the Chaos Eater all the way up. And you can you, you know like you can totally upgrade the. Um, what was it called? Uh, I don't really remember what that weapon is. See, I didn't use it that much. <laughs> but um, it's pretty much the the big giant fist. <laughs> I totally forgot the name. I'm going to slap my head when I see it. What, someone's going to comment below say, It's this weapon. This weapon. How dare you not remember. It's my favorite weapon. <laughs> no. No, there, I, would, I would actually like someone to comment below and... Uh, <gasps> And tell the uh, tell the audience uh, what the weapon actually is, because I don't want to feel like a dumbass for long. But yeah, that's the that's a weapon I usually try and at least get to level three. Hey, Volgo. On your journey, you may come into possession of certain items that are of particular interest to me. Mm -hmm. Artifacts of the Fallen Legion. If you discover any Legion artifacts, bring them to me. I will make it worth your while. Yes, and I have... Oh, wait, here we go. Get that. Old Vulcan's got something new for you. I can't... Can't freaking purchase any of that. I don't really need it anyway. Oh, let's see. Weapon Master. Slot bonus. Uh, boost damage inflicted by... A weapons attack so I could pretty much be slotted to any weapon yeah another thing with the weapons is that you can slot like oh well, yeah pretty much have weapon slots and I think each weapon has like I think one yeah only one slot which is kind of bad I, can help you. I wish they had like two or three slots and you can like combine things and make them just even better which I'm thinking they're probably gonna be doing in Darksiders 2 but um let's see the first thing I want Actually, I will probably save up for the scythe. I'm not going to... Please take your time. Shut up. But, um, let's see. Do I use that one? Meteor strike, A. I'll jump and then press that. Eh, I might. Might not. Oh, I do that a couple times here and there. Especially when, um, there's enemies behind me. You know what? I'll just get that you one. Are as wise as you are powerful. And uh, by the time I'm what done going through this area, by the time I'm doing going through this area, I should have enough to buy the scythe. Hopefully. Uh, or at least when I get to the graveyard. 
So yeah, let's see what time it is right now. Oh, hey, what do you know? Right when I check the time, it's time to go. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for the likes and subscribes, and I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy yourself.